the Alliance for a Green Revolution in Africa, AGRA, has launched what it calls the Deal Room, a consortium of agribusiness funders that seeks to make available at least 100 billion shillings for small and medium enterprise access in Uganda. Despite the pandemic of COVID-19, life has to continue and um, employment has to be created for the youth. And interestingly, COVID has also stimulated people to think differently. The potential actors in that sector need financing. They need capital to put their ideas into practice. And so we think this is a golden opportunity for them. In a rejoinder to this development, the Federation of Small and Medium Enterprises says that regional market statistics should inform this resource allocation to eligible farms. In this region, we have a food deficit. Kenya imports about 400,000 metric tons of maize. Rwanda, about 150,000. Now, interestingly, the region imports about 506, about 560 metric tons of maize from outside the region. So I think what the money needs to do is to build local capacity so that we meet that food deficit. Secondly, the business environment and the removal of non-tariff barriers. Because if countries are still closing each other's borders and saying, I don't like your maize, I don't like your sugar, I don't like your beans, I don't like your poultry, then that would be a problem. The deal room will also see some partners drive actual investments in equity or partnerships, according to the Commercial Agriculture for Smallholders and Agribusiness, CASA. We are coming up with what we call investment-ready business models, financial models with agribusinesses, to say this is a model that will attract investment. This is a model that has that will engage this number of smallholder farmers. These are the expected outputs. These are the increasing income of smallholder farmers. If you do A, B, C, D. We are also looking for the magnitude of that investment. We are also looking for scalability because we don't want to just support SMEs that are here today and tomorrow they are not. We want to support those SMEs that have the ability to scale up and impact so many people. Reina Ojun, NTV Business.